Welcome to the Webby and O'Neill channel. I'm talking all things Crystal Palace, and with us today is David Mate. Thank you for joining us, David. Pleasure. Okay. Pleasure. Now, first talking point, what we've got, everyone's talking about, is the defenders. We've got two left full backs, both injured. Unusual situation. Looks like after all he's uh, had a few words today. Sure. Doubtful. D very doubtful. Mm, yeah. Uh, and we've got Williams there now. He's got an injury, David. He has. Uh, I think. I think with Luke with his ankle, obviously, ligaments are tough to get over. What, wherever you are, I think with uh, with Brandon with a with a cut. Obviously, I know there'll be swelling there, but obviously it depends if there's any concussion or like that. But it's a cut. You know, you can you see players now bandage. He's been up, driving, right? so obviously he's, he's allowed oh, to drive fine, some, if, so he, he so plays and done it. You'd imagine then Brandon would play. Yeah, it's, it's fine, David, but you're a tough centre half. Oh, hey, right. that, kid, that, that, that kid's tough as well, by the way. Right, there you go. He is a tough lad, yeah. Now, if he doesn't play, we've got Delot. Yeah. What, what, what's your opinion no, on, on Delot? Yeah, I think um, decent defender. Um, obviously, Aaron's come in. On the right hand side, um, you have to get in front of him. is is tough. So um, Delo's got to take his time. He's got to pick his matches, and he'll do a job. But, you know, he's a decent defender. He is. Go, go, going on the rest of the team. Webby was saying to me before about changes in the team this year. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we've been looking at the last four or five games. We stuck with the eleven. Obviously, that's gonna have to change because Shaw's not gonna make it. Do you think he'll freshen up tomorrow? Do you think he might throw a few in? People who need games, people like Scott, people yeah. like Fred needs a game. But is this the right time? Because obviously, after the other night, we've come away from that game and it, it felt like a defeat. Yeah. But we're still down to that we've got three games to play and we win the three games, win Europe. Yeah. Is it time to freshen up or do you think he'll go with the best he's got available regard, apart from that? I, I think, do you know what, Webbit? You've got a massive game Sunday as well. Yeah. yeah. Semi finals of the FA Cup. Um, that will also be playing on all his, all his mind. Mm. Yes, I think he'll he'll freshen things up, looking you know keeping an eye on that game because that game's massive as well. They've gone a bit Chelsea in a couple of notes and they've not gone full strength. The keeper has come in and used to play yeah. for City. He's played every round. He swapped and changed. But looking at his last few league games, the, he's changed the defence a lot. Yeah, like obviously the Sheffield United, he, he whipped them off didn't he at half time and brought yeah. others on. So. Yeah. Like you're saying, it is a big game, but for me, Thursday is a massive game now. So, yeah, you, I mean, it's an old adage, you know, everybody says the same. You take each game as it comes. And mm. But this, but the, we're taking each game as it comes. Yeah. But this, this Crystal Palace side, right, don't seem to be in this. Totally, they're on holidays. Well, that's how it looks to me. That's how it looks to but, me. That but, on but it's, it's Man United. 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 Yeah. 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 Right. I, th I think the only thing with that is, is that there's no fans. Imagine, from your point of view, my point of view, and a f proper fan's point of view, right, of watching this by a full ground oh. or with the fans back. Bouncing. I mean, It'd be I, bouncing, I, I, I was watching it with the Southampton game. I was wishing that I was in the ground and everyone was yeah. in the ground because they, everyone would have been up out of the seat, Absolutely. right, screaming them on in that last 10, 15 yeah, minutes because yeah. we could all see they were tired, yeah. you know. And, and the that, games what have been that, played. That's your twelfth man, then. Yeah, that's yeah. your twelfth man. Yeah. And it, what what's going on here now is we need the crowds back. Of course we do. Football needs the crowds yeah, yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and at the end of the day, we're gonna hopefully people out there, we need them back. So I'd like you to put your comments in, right, on how we get fans back in the ground. We've got our opinion, and next week we'll discuss it. It's always the biggest game yeah. wherever we go. Yeah. It's always Manchester United. Palace the biggest. is one of those grounds where it's right and top in yeah. sense, isn't it? And yeah. you know, Sellers Park's an horrible place to play, but we've not lost there since 1991 in the league. So we've got a phenomenal record going there. And I honestly think we'll go there and we'll win. I, I do. The, 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 the Palace there, the, the, the without Ben Secchi, because yeah. like, I, I didn't realise he was... You got sent off at full time, Yeah, didn't I, I didn't realise yeah. that when, when I was watching the game. And... I'm sure you'd want him to play. Well, he don't score. To me, no, he, no, to me, he doesn't score. I'd rather him play, play an handful, yeah. isn't it? But you've got the, got the other player, haven't you? Zah. Yeah. Now, 
to me, Zara, right, is he just comes flying at you, right, and he gets tackled. Yeah. And his game is that the way I see their game going to be played against us. And how do we combat Zara? Because they give him the ball and he runs at you. Yeah. And then and what it is, it's the fouls. He loves being fouled because it gives the team, Crystal Palace, the team, it's to get up there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Whereas if Sadar's on a run and he's away, there's no one with him. Do you know no. what I mean? I tell you what, it's a big blow for them. The kid Kale not playing. You know, when they got him on a free transfer, mm -hmm. I thought United could have gone him because he was a decent player and he started the season off well. And there was talk of him getting back in the England squad. He cost them nothing, but he'd done his hamstring in against Chelsea where he that's carried right. on, didn't he? And he yeah. scored the goal. Yeah. So that's a big bonus for United, him not playing. I think, I think the way we have to look at it is that if we attack the way we've been attacking, you know, like Martial, Rashford, Mason. Interesting where he's going to, if he's going to play Paul or he's going to play Bruno mm -hmm. or whether he's going to play Scott, Fred, with one eye on, on, on the Chelsea game. But do you know what? Before, before Paul came back, Scott and Fred were phenomenal. Yeah. Tony's uh, mentioned uh, and, and, and Bruno were phenomenal yeah. as a three. Well, well we, we, we flagged up Scott and Fred uh, early on and there. Uh, I feel sorry for him to be fair. No, they, 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 they have been absolutely Listen, your, your, your comment there is how, how, we've, how we've seen it with Scott and Fred because they didn't deserve to lose the place based on before the no, lockdown came. No, no. They, they were instrumental in how, how the team was ticking and Scott was getting stuck in, giving the ball and everything. Yeah. Now, I, I, do like, I do like him because I, I see him as like the future. Yeah. Uh, and if he comes in, I think he'll hold it. Now, based, based on looking at the team, I seen a few legs tired. Yeah, okay, I agree. and and I think Scott will, I think he deserves to come Absolutely. in uh, to give a couple of the others a break because yeah. was it four or five games unchanged? Five, five, five games, games unchanged. unchanged. I mean, they've got to get back to the fitness. Well, they've done all the running now, of course, yeah, and and, of course, yeah. and, and it's time for the one or two others. I don't mean wholesale changes for this Crystal no, Palace no, game because no. no. I don't think Crystal Palace deserve us to make wholesale changes. No. Uh, up front, I can't see, I can't see it changing. To be honest, because I think what it might do, I, because it's in a way, and it's a game where you have to. It's important to keep the ball up there. I think it might start a gallo. You know, mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I would. Still, That's a big I, call. Though. It is, but I would, I, I would still stick with the three up there. But I wouldn't be surprised if Gallo starts, yeah. because he's been fantastic as well, yeah. and he's he's the type of player that. You want when when you're playing away games that you can you can bang it up to him and it and it sticks and then you can bring the other lads through. I would start a Gallo. I would big call that. Yeah, big call. I would. Call. It is yeah. a big yeah. it is a big call. And, and do you know what? Yeah. I think um, you can you can give Mason a, a rest, play a Gallo, and split them three. Yeah, that's well, a bit, that's we'll see a, what happens. Tomorrow. That's, that's a bigger yeah. shout. Yeah, see I'll what play Max on the right, a Gallo down the middle. Um, uh, Marshall on the left. Mm. Right, lads, we've got some comments here. We've got Jason. Ollie is changing the lineup for Thursday. Must have a bit of inside info. Well, Jason. We, we don't know. Well, he will have changed it one way. Yeah. Through injury, not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but he, he he's telling us now. He sounds right? as though he knows. Yeah. Who, who, who's Jason? Who's Jason and who's your information? Yeah. <laughs> we've also got uh, Party Town Red. Webby is spotting about Ward Prowse. The kid goes under the radar at Southampton. Definitely an option and won't cost us a hell of a lot of money. Good player. I've liked him for years, me, Dave. Very I think good he's a great player. player. I, I, I don't know that about yeah. him, but he did play well the other yeah, day. He did. Should have been sent off as well, by the way. He was another one who got the booking yeah. and got matches in the second half. Anyway. Yeah, gone, well, though. Ward Prowse. We've got uh, Bid. Keep up the good work. A Salford Red, lots away, down in Melbourne, who's finally waking up at stupid times again to watch United. Does he mean lots away, as in, like, I'm from Salford, like, and I've had to get off, right? And I'm now in Melbourne. Uh, no comment on that. Right, well, let us know what you mean by that, because... Yeah. We just hope that you've gone over there and you've got... Yeah, well, we hope, we hope you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. Also, we've got one from uh, JH, the field factors back. If the scouts is winning the league isn't enough to spark a reaction and nothing will, it's time for us to rise. Don't throw stupid money at new players. We have Greenwood, Williams, Two and Zabie already to step up. Oh, David. You've still got to spend, haven't you? David, stupid money. What's, what's stupid money? Well, what's stupid money? I mean, it doesn't matter how, 
how stupid it is if it's the right player that's yeah. going to fit in. Got to it make it don't bother me, yeah. yeah got as, long, as long as it, they make the team better, doesn't bother me how much, whether they spend five million on him or 105 million. David, you you was uh, centered half. You was behind Bruce and all yeah. that when you came. You then got your position. But the thing is, there was other people pushing you. Of course there is, yeah. You know, and but you, do you know you, what, Tony? I mean, I know it goes on about 99, but but that squad had everything. Do you know the manager had two two players in every position? Correct, yeah. And and nowadays it, that's how you've got to be. You've got to be flexible. He's got to spend money. Yeah. But the thing is, he saved but stupid money. The thing is, the, there is no ceiling on stupid money. The thing is, is the money we don't know, but we're going to find out, aren't we? Because Ollie has to spend money. He will. I think he, he will spend, and not, but on the back of that, he will also get rid of players as well. Yeah. Because yeah. he has to freshen the. Yeah, and, yeah. You know whether it's two players, just got three wait. players. Yeah. yeah. Just got to wait, haven't we? Absolutely. We've, we've not got long to wait. No. You know, so we've got what we've got. Yeah. And the what, squad will change. What we've got now is very, very good. Yeah. Very good. You just need that little bit more in yeah. depth of yeah. quality, yeah. and then you will be pushing. The Sancho thing won't go away. For me, it'd make our team a lot better. You know, it's another player can play in various positions. He's one, of many, he's, one, he's one of many players. One of many yeah. players, yeah. He one of many players. We're all the time with that. We'll wait and see. Bugs there. Bugs, Bugs, Bugs there. Bugs there. Bad management. Should have been on the touchline, keeping them all awake, not sat watching his screen. A big chance missed again. Not acceptable and too complacent. Mr. Nice Girl, he needs Keno and on his team instead of his yes men. Well, see, see, that's what I'm on about. People go on about Ollie and all that. I tell you what, Ollie's a nasty. Yeah, yeah. When, when you've been in the dressing room with him and you've played with him and you've trained with him, he's nasty. Yeah. You know, people look at him and think, oh, he's, you know, he's, he's a quiet lad. I'm telling you now, he's not a quiet lad. He will kick ten bells out of you. Who did the highlight? With going on that, I'm sure I seen something where you seen Ollie on the sideline in a water break or something, where it was highlighted where he was. It said something yeah. to one of the players, like you know. So, what you're saying is they know what's coming. Absolutely. And Absolutely. They're given the job, get it done. And yeah. If you don't, I'll see you yeah. afterwards. Uh, Ollie, I, nast I, I asked nasty him, side, I, yeah. Ollie. Yeah, I tell you there is. I asked a member of staff what he's like, and they went, yeah, he does rip into them. And rightly so. Right, well. Rightly so. Thank you, David. Pleasure. Right, Cheers, thank you very much. Now, uh, don't forget, I want all your comments about coming back in the stadium, fans coming back, and we'll debate that next week. I want all your comments about today, David's visit, David's comments, and how we see the game going. We want to hear your views on that. Thursday, midday, We've got an interview coming out and please watch it. Watch more videos here. Please subscribe to the channel here and please leave all comments down below, please.